<laughs> okay, all right, of course, I'm back yet with another video. I'm James IZ, by the way. And uh, today I will be talking about X Defiant and how the game is already dead and there's cheaters in it, but it's not a bad game actually. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna do a quick little X Defiant review, real quick, right here and right now. Like the whole gameplay wise, you know, like the whole mechanics of running around and shooting people, the maps and everything. It's fun and it's slightly addictive. It's like, you know, it's like an old school Call of Duty, of course. And yeah, so it's like an old school Call of Duty type of feel. You know, like there's no kill streaks, there's no score streaks and everything. So it's really just a run and gun, you know, uh, arcade arena shooter. And that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I like that type of schlop. It's schlop, 100%. Uh, X Define is basically uh, Ubisoft capitalizing on Call of Duty's failure. But uh, I'm pretty sure that, that like they know that like the next COD game is, is going to completely destroy X Defiant first day to be honest with you yeah now nah, there's no way that X Defiant is anywhere close to the juggernaut not of Call of Duty but and, and like that's not me you know being like a Call of Duty fanboy and saying that it's better that it's better than X Defiant it is but Call of Duty is still shit. you feel me it's just that X Defiant it's still shit somewhat but I still like it and I still like having fun on it I can still find fun and you know the shit, you know what I'm saying like I like playing with shit and go into a toilet right now like go into your toilet right now take a sh and play with it you can find fun in that okay and then uh, just like uh, every other live service game that's free x defiant has a test tons of microtransactions and they shove it all down your throat they shove it in your face and everything i mean even like on the loading screen there they're showing like a player skin that, that like, you can buy in the store now if they had a way like I, and which this is what every game should do. Uh, there, th there should be a way, like a reward system for for playing the game, and you can unlock the skins that are uh, in the store instead of paying ten, ten, twenty, or thirty dollars just to buy a stupid little skin to throw on your first person shooter character. I mean, it's, yeah, it's like a first person shooter. You know what I'm saying? You you can't even see yourself. So basically, you're spending ten dollars on a video game just to look cool to other people. You spent $30 on like a free to play game just to look cool to other people. It's your money at the end of the day, but don't act surprised when people want to bully you. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the network connection and like the net code and like like the rubber banding. I don't even know how to describe it. My internet is, you know, I have some, you know, I have really good internet, you know what I'm saying? And it's like playing an old school Call of Duty game. Like I, I can really uh, compare this shit to like uh, Black Ops 1 and, and uh, Modern Warfare 3 of where it's like the net code is just so bad and like there's just like the input delay. It's terrible. It's like I could be standing behind like bro, I could be three feet behind a wall still die to somebody like that's some black ops 2 type shit okay and it's 2024 and why is that a thing like an x defiant of where it's not of where like, the net coding is like uh, still that bad you know what i'm saying uh, the maps are pretty simple and easy and you know like they're not too complicated and 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 that's how they should be they shouldn't be too complicated and convoluted and just stupid you know what i'm saying so like the maps are fine you know like there's no skill based matchmaking or any sort of eomm or any sort of manipulation with like the matchmaking right and i'm still playing against a bunch of sweats that take the game way too seriously it's like they take it like they're playing it like it's their job or something like they're actually making money from it or something when they're not and you're just taking it way too seriously and like and like there's no skill-based matchmaking either so it's just that everyone in like the fps uh, genre i guess is just a complete dork who who is cracked off of adderall and meth and it doesn't care about anyone else's fun but theirs i guess so and they just take every game seriously now i can play like a tryhard from t from from time to time but at the same time i just like i just want to relax you know what i'm saying and like and like actually have fun you know what i'm saying like why are you trying so hard and all right yeah so that's my quick little ditty there that's my quick review with uh x defiant it's a it's just a free to game uh, a hero shooter schlop and it's just a ubisoft way of uh, capitalizing on call of duty's failure now when black ops 6 drops um i know that like i'm falling into the hype because for me personally i i, I really do enjoy the trailers and, and, and like the promotional material for like the black ops 6 because it's very cryptid and you know just like kind of you know just like edgy i guess i don't even know how to describe it but i really like that style of uh, of like film and editing and yeah i'm falling into the hype of it and i already know what's about to happen i know that activision probably isn't going to change at all you know they're still going to have the eomm in this in like the in like the sbmm but hey you know what 
I'm gonna spend that $70 and I'm gonna have fun playing the multiplayer for like one month. And I'm going to enjoy every single second of it. And I don't care what you think, all right? Do something about it. Moving on to the next topic here. The X Defiant Cheats. This game came out a week ago and there's already cheaters and there's people out here on YouTube who are selling cheats. There's this guy who's live streaming himself rage hacking. He gets mad that like people are better than him at a video game so he decided to download cheats and ruin everyone's fun. If that's not the definition of being a loser then there is no definition of being a loser. Like just the term being a loser it doesn't exist if you don't consider that guy to be an absolute piece of sh of like a human being of where they of where he feels the need to you know to start r rage hacking and ruin everyone's day or something yeah but uh, before i get into that piece of sh his live stream uh i'm just gonna play this video here of like this guy here who's uh advertising uh, x defiant cheats like this is the like this is a cheats service and i hope that ubisoft sues them and or sues the company that's making these cheats for millions and millions of dollars in damages and you know just hurting their bottom line of just up their money from like a cheap and easy to make live service game that like they're pumping full of microtransactions. Like like bro, I watch this shit. Like bro, he has wall hacks and everything. He's selling like bro, he's selling wall hacks. Whoa, so far behind. Dude, this is what virgins do. Like, like we are watching somebody who has never talked to a female in person ever in life. And uh, this is what he's doing. He makes cheating software for a game that just came out and it's free. There is something wrong with you people. There's like, like there's a, like, I, I really hope this person burns in hell. No matter what he does. Like, he, bro, he can drop everything here and he can go find God right now. He could be like following the path of God for like the rest of his life. I hope he goes to hell just for this. I, I was about to say because if you died to him I would have what's the, okay so what's the point of using the wall hacks with this operator here when they already have wall hacks this whole ability here it gives you wall hacks you know that's already like in the game but then he's using the wall hacks on top of already using wall hacks I don't, I'm done with this video. I'm just gonna dislike it and move on to the next piece of evidence here of where uh, people are pieces of shit and like they ruin everything that like they get their hands on. Just watch this, shit. just watch this, bro. Just watch this, bro. He has speed hacks on. Oh my God. Just speed hacks, walls. gets titled and then he tags ubisoft right so uh, clearly this guy doesn't give a f because he w because he wants to let us know and just through his actions here it's obvious that yeah he doesn't give a sh and like he probably doesn't even give a damn about about what i have to say about this uh, we can call him a loser all day it's not gonna change anything it's up to it's up to ubisoft but i mean bro if you have this going on like you like you're already hacking a game that just came out bro and uh, ubisoft isn't doing anything about it bro it, it's uh, if like they found a way to glitch the game and hack the game into buying free stuff at like the in-game store with like the micro transactions right oh no dude they're gonna fix it like the next day you know what i'm saying but shit like this that ruins the whole game for everybody they're not gonna do a damn thing about it i mean like they're probably gonna well no like they definitely are but you know you're gonna have to wait like a couple weeks for them to you know to put in, like an actual anti-cheat to get to uh, get rid of this cancer here anyways fellas uh you get the whole point of this video um i just reviewed x defiant basically it's just a watered down call of duty it's still fun you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong it's fun to play but there's still a whole bunch of problems in it and it's and just like call of duty i'm probably gonna stop playing it after like a month you know what i'm saying anyways fellas if you enjoyed this video don't be shy to leave a like and subscribe to the channel i will see you later all right bye